besides ceasing and desisting and desisting the activity. So we're going to stop processing. We're going to stop moving cattle during the hot times of the day. What are some of the other preventative measures that you like to enlist in the home pen or, or that to, to prevent heat stress? Well, we talked previously about black hide and cattle. The black hide and hair simply absorbs a ton of light out of, out of, the, uh, of sunlight. And if we can get those cattle shaded, especially the big cattle, if we can focus on one area of the feed yard, it's gonna get those cattle that are 60 days from market under some shade. And, and that's usually enough to keep them from moving into mildly uncomfortable into clinical extreme emergency situation. So uh, shade, uh, what, what are some of the other? Water? Water is a big one. We've got, a, a, as you mentioned before, let's prepare for summer. It seems to come every year. Uh, intake of cattle during normal cool uh, circumstances will be about three times the amount of dry matter the cattle are eating. Uh, during the hot summertime, it's going to be more like five times, so not quite double uh, their water consumption during those hot periods. We've got to prepare for that and make we'll, sure we're going to have adequate water supply. And we always said, you know, if we don't have enough water pressure, enough water tank space, things of that, you're going to have to make sure that you get a tank that you can increase the water pressure above ground if you have deep wells. And, and then some of the other things is if cattle are bunching around the water tanks, you may have to put a silver tank out in the pen and, and fill it up to get by during these heat stress moments. Cattle, especially the bully cattle, will hover over those water sources, not because they're needing more to drink, they're simply uh, breathing over that cool air. It's cooler. What about wind? How could I increase ventilation of cattle that are in a feeder pen? Two things. Number one is mounds. We know how great mounds are during wet and muddy conditions. Uh, something somebody smarter than me once said, cattle don't lie. They can't lie. And when you see cattle using shade, or when you see cattle using mounds, they should be telling you something. They're more comfortable in those areas. And the thing about mounds during the summertime, even if it's dry, is cattle can usually get up on top of that mound and find a little bit of breeze. Yeah, the cattle will face the breeze in the summer and they look away from it, put their tail in the breeze in the winter. Um, what about weeds, windbreaks? If you've got windbreaks in place, I understand in the northern climate where we're fighting that January blizzard, uh, they're important, but in the in the Midwest where we operate, I'm not sure windbreaks are nearly as important as w in the in the winter time as not having them and having access to wind is during the summertime. 